Yo, what is going on everybody? It is Roush and welcome to week 3 of PSR Draft League Season 3. So uh, let's go ahead and jump right into the team builder. Uh, we'll start with my team per usual, then we'll move over and talk about my opponent's team, and then we'll go through exactly what I am bringing. So first of all, let's go ahead and take a look at my team. Uh, we had a very, very solid 6-0 uh, match last week versus the Midwest Mawiles and my good friend King Kid Theater, um, in which uh, Mega Galate got a 6-KO sweep. So it was basically get rocks up, then find a way to get Gallade in and sword stance, and uh, ran the way through to victory. And as you can see, it is uh, currently second, uh, and my Greninja is third on the um, MVP rankings, thanks to um, their part, uh, their parts in uh, each of the individual matches for the last two weeks, of course. Um, uh, they should be first and third. Uh, they were first and third after week two, but uh, since I've been holding off on grabbing this image, um, a bunch of matches have been played. So all of the uh, all the uh, MVP rankings have uh, been shuffled around. So doesn't make that big a difference uh, in the grand scheme of things. Of course, I have Zygarde, which still hasn't been brought yet. Tengrowth, which is really cool. Sylveon, um... Sylveon's been doing okay for me. It's not been doing exactly what I thought it would do, but, um... Hey, that's Pokemon for you. Uh, Empoleon, uh, Claydol, Shuckle, Gallade, uh, Crobat, Incineroar, Zerkatree, and Greninja are, of course, my team, uh, no changes from last week, and I, I don't think I'm, I'm going to make any team edits here in the uh, in the near future. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at my opponent's team. So my opponent this week is going to be Sunrakasha and the Earthquake Fish. Um, really interesting team, uh, in my opinion. Uh, it's very, I don't know, it's very balanced. So we have uh, Jirachi. Rotom Wash, Ninetales Alolan Form, Marowak Alolan Form, Hitmonlee, Shiftry, Mega Beedrill, Magnazone, Garchomp, Swampert, and Toxicroak. Um, this is, I mean, it's offense. It's not quite balanced, but it's not hyper offense. Like, it kind of can switch between the two. Uh, he's got cores um, and Pokemon to be able to, to do that. But uh, let's go ahead and talk about what I expect. Um, each of these Pokemon to do uh, versus me. So Jirachi could be either Fizz Def, Specially Defensive, or uh, Choice Scarfed, I believe, are going to be the uh, three options that uh, could be brought. Um, Jirachi is, of course, uh, if uh, he's not paying attention, absolutely demolished by my Greninja. So I kind of could see either Spit F or Physical Scarf just because, or even Special Scarf. Special Scarf could be interesting, but I do have ways of dealing with uh, all all of those uh, movesets. But I expect, like, either Stealth Rock's on a defensive type set if he doesn't bring Swampert. Um, Scarf is going to have U-Turn, Iron Head, Ice Punch, and then I think Healing Wish uh, for the last slot. Just because Healing Wish is uh, such a, a useful move for uh, an offensive type build, which I think is uh, best to deal with my pokes. So I expect a more offensive approach. Um, otherwise, uh, Spit F version is probably going to have either Thunder Wave or Body Slam to go along with Iron Head, maybe Ice Punch in there, and Stealth Rocks. If not, uh, Wish Protect, Iron Head, Ice Punch. Because uh, Zygarde exists. And I feel like uh, because Jirachi naturally outspeeds Zygarde, he would try and go more for the for the Scarf set um, because Jirachi as an HP Ice user isn't as good versus my team. Um, it prefers to have different coverage moves. Uh, Rotom Wash. Rotom Wash uh, was one of the most po uh, difficult Pokemon to prep for because it has such good utility. So it can be Choice Specs, Choice Scarf, Physically Defensive or Specially Defensive. Those are the four main movesets that I expect Rotom Wash to carry. Um, so if it's a Choice Specs set um, or Scarf set, I expect them to have pretty much the same moveset. Hydro Pump, Hidden Power Ice, and then a combination of 
uh, two out of the three, Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, or Trick. Um, I kind of could see Volt Switch, Trick on a, um, or Thunderbolt, Volt Switch on a Scarf set, and then maybe Volt Switch, Trick on a Spec set, but uh, I need to be ready for all uh, all those combinations of moves. But I expect Hidden Power Ice to be on there um, because of Zygarde, because of uh, Tangrowth, uh, because those are two Pokemon that really don't care about Rotomwash's dual stab. Uh, physically defensive, uh, and especially defensive, I expect them to have the same moveset. Fizdef uh, deals with Mons like, uh, like Zygarde a little bit better, and it can get off a Will-O-Wisp. Uh, deals with um, Incineroar a little bit better, deals with Gallade a little bit better, and can uh, Toxic and then Will or Toxic or Will O Wisp, respectively. Uh, Defog, Rotom Washes, Sunrakish's only way of clearing hazards, and it's on Rotom Wash, Shift Tree, Beedrill, and. What was the last one? I think that's it. Is it just the three? Yeah, just the three. So Defog is like the only way of clearing hazards. Um, Shiftry, I don't think is going to be brought, but Beedrill is definitely not going to want to be defogging. So it's either I have my hazards or this Rotom Wash is carrying defog. So um, definitely something to scout for as the match goes on. Uh, Ninetales Alolan. Uh, this mod is also a problem to my team. Uh, Freeze Drive, Blizzard, Aurora Veil then either combination of Hypnosis, Encore, or Moonblast, I expect is what will be brought. Um, I expect either a speedy support option or a um, offensive option. Uh, speedy support is just a little bit better versus my team. It's got more positive matchups. So if Ninetales Alolan comes along, I expect it to be that. Um, however, I do have a couple of uh, good ways of uh, checking it. Alolan Marowak. Uh, this thing hits like a stupid truck, a really thick, stupid truck. Uh, I actually had uh, some problems with it in team building, just because um, my team isn't... Well, my team doesn't like tanking super heavy hits uh, like, like that. So it was just something that I had to pay real close attention to um, as I was building a set of either Will-O-Wisp or other support option, maybe Toxic, Shadow Bone, Flare Blitz, and Earthquake uh, deal the uh, best damage spread versus my team. But Alolan Marowak is a threat. Hitmonlee. Uh, Hitmonlee was also another Pokemon that is going to give me fits uh, if it's brought. I need to be really careful because it's got a positive matchup on Greninja. Um, it outspeeds Zerka Tree. It uh, deals massive damage to Incineroar, if not straight out kills. Um, Crobat, it. Um, Crobat is a problem if Hitmonlee gets uh, set up. Then Crobat is not living rock move. Uh, Mega Gallade is perhaps my best check to it. Can tank a hit from any set. Um, and then uh, come close to one hit KOing with uh, Psycho Cut. So there's that. Shuckle can stall it out, um, but it involves like throwing up a toxic, um, doing some other sneaky shenanigans. So Shuckle isn't too good against it either. Clay Doll would be okay, but knockoff exists. So Clay Doll ends up being almost a hindrance uh, versus Hitmonlee too. So I need to be kind of careful about uh, Kaladol in this matchup. Uh, and Polion straight out loses nine times out of 10. Sylveon is, um, Sylveon is a revenge type option, um, but it takes a massive chunk out of like a plus one poison jab or something. And uh, cause Hitmonlee has a very special option in the form of curse. So if you curse along with a, um, What's it called? The uh, the whiter. You will be reset to neutral speed, have a plus one attack, and a plus one defense. Combine that with unburdened boost, you have a very dangerous uh, attacker. 
And uh, that's honestly uh, the number one thing that I'm worried about with Hitmonlee is that kind of a, a setup type set. Uh, but Sylveon is an option, Tangrowth has an okay matchup, and then uh, Zygarde is also a revenge type option, but none of them really want to see Hitmonlee go for that curse. So uh, something that I need to watch out for this week. Shiftry, just, uh, I expect it to be either mixed or physically attacking. Um, it could do Sucker Punch, Knock Off, slash Dark Pulse, Leaf Storm, slash Leaf, Leaf Blade, um, but I predict it to be either Swords Dance or Nasty Plot, but either set bring Sucker Punch, just because I don't expect Defog. Beedrill, Mega, U-Turn, Poison Jab, and then a combination of two out of the three, Drill Run, Knock Off, Swords Dance, or Fell Stinger, uh, just really typical Beedrill type stuff. Drill Run uh, demolishes, well, it deals the best damage, I suppose, to Empoleon. Um, knock Off deals the best damage to, um, is, what was that for, Crobat? Yes, yes. Knock Off is for Crobat. Swords Dance is to just get as much power as possible, and then uh, Fell Stinger is to be a waterfall type sweeper um, as an alternative to Swords Dance. But uh, I have a, a, a couple of workarounds for Mega Beedrill, but it does threaten key Pokemon on my team, like Claydol, like Tangrowth, like Sylveon, and um, honestly, Gallade as well, because it outspeeds it so tremendously. Um, but I do have ways around Mega Beedrill, especially this week. Magnezone is another Pokemon that is kind of awkward. Um, it has to kind of pick who it loses to. Uh, it could be either Choice Scarf, Choice Specs, Leftovers, slash Assault Vest, slash uh, potentially Z Crystal as well. Uh, Choice Scarf and Choice Specs, I expect them to have the same moveset. I expect Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Flash Cannon, and Hidden Power Ice. Hidden Power Ice is, of course, once again for the Zygarde 50%. Uh, Magnezone does not need Hidden Power Fire this week because the only Pokemon that really cares about um, getting hit by Hidden Power Fire is also hit by Hidden Power Ice, and that's uh, Tangrowth. So Hidden Power Ice is a vastly better option uh, this week. But Magnezone will be coming to trap Empoleon uh, if, it, if it is brought, that is. Uh, so I expect somewhat of a that type set, but also make it so that it doesn't lose to Zygarde, which is why I think either Scarf or the other set, which is Leftovers slash uh, Z-Crystal, is uh, the thing that I would expect. Substitute Thunderbolt, Flash Cannon, Hidden Power Ice, or uh, instead of Thunderbolt, Bolt Switch, but substitute uh, will enable it to get, um, to just kind of sit there and set up uh, versus maybe something like, well, especially Empoleon, because it traps. Uh, Sylveon is a, an option it can set up on. Uh, Shockle is an option it can set up on. Um, uh, maybe Zerkatry as well. Zerkatry isn't doing that much to it. Um, or even uh, Greninja, if uh, he feels like he can. But Magnezone is just kind of an issue to my team for those reasons. Is it's just got a good po uh, positive matchup against a good portion of my team. Garchomp! Um, I'm expecting one of three options. I'm expecting either Scarfed, Offensive with Z-Crystal, or a tanky set with Rocky Helmet. <laughs> Garchomp is a problem with all three sets. I expect the Choice Scarf version to have Outrage, Dragon Claw, Earthquake, and then either be mixed with Fire Blast or Fire Fang. Uh, Fire Blast, I feel like, is more likely because it deals better with Tangrowth. Um, yeah, uh, yes, Fire Blast, because Tangrowth. Uh, same type set for the offensive version, except he might swap out um, Outrage for Swords Dance, but if he uh, goes with the non-scarf route, I expect um, Dragon Claw over Outrage. And then probably Fire EMZ is kind of what I'm expecting, just because Tangrowth exists. Um, but it'll be either Dragonium or Fire EM, and I did most of my calcs for, for those two. Um, physically defensive Swampert is what I would expect out of this week, because it is a fantastic check to Zygarde 50%. Um, Sinraksha doesn't have too many things that want to take on Zygarde, except for maybe Tank Chomp, 
uh, Swampert, and um, Revenge-type uh, Jirachi. Um, or Ninetales, I guess. So that's, that's three options. But uh, Zygarde versus Swampert is a very awkward matchup, so I kind of expect Swampert to be brought this week. And I expect it to have a combination of, uh, well, it'll have probably Ice Move, Earthquake Move, and then a combination of Scald, Waterfall, Toxic, or Stealth Rocks. Uh, two out of those, four. Um, but Ice Move, either Ice Beam or Ice Punch. Ice Punch is better for Swampert's um, attack stat, but Ice Beam will do more damage on the average to Zygarde because Zygarde is just so physically bulky. It's 121 versus 95 in um, physical base defense and special base defense. Uh, but I expect that's what Swampert will be arriving on the scene to do. Toxicroak is the last Pokemon on the list. Uh, given how my team stacks up, especially because there is a Sylveon sitting in the middle of my team, I expect Swords Dance Life Orb type Toxicroak if it is brought. So Swords Dance, Drain Punch, Gunk Shot or Poison Jab. Gunk Shot is obviously better for um, uh, Tangrowth deals massive damage to tang growth uh, and just pokes in general um, but poison jab if he wants to go for a little more accuracy with uh, either a life orb or if he goes for gung shots perhaps even a wide lens just a, an option out there and then last move is probably going to be sucker punch sucker punch deals really well with uh, mega glade which would normally be a check because it outspeeds and has psychic stab uh, also does okay as last second damage on stuff like crowbat uh, stuff like Claydol, uh, if uh, I go for an attack with Claydol, uh, and then it's also a priority against something like Zygarde, uh, 50%. So that is Sunrakish's team, and uh, let's go ahead and talk about what Rashi Boy is bringing. So, first of all, we are going to have Tangrowth this week. So, Tangrowth is Assault Vested. Uh, Yogurt is going to have Earthquake, Giga Drain, Hidden Power, Ice, and Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb is there mainly because it deals with um, Ninetales. I was considering not doing Assault Vested this week, but then I realized that a good majority of my build uh, didn't want to take on Ninetales, so I wanted a secondary option for it. It also deals really well with Surprise Shiftry or Magnezone if he brings it. Of course, Earthquake is there for Magnezone uh, and Toxic Crook. Giga Drain is there for the uh, two water types, the Swampert and the Rotom Wash, dealing massive damage to them as well. Hidden Power Ice is there for the Chomp, and uh, I guess, well, Jirachi also gets rocked by Earthquake. Uh, so that's Tangrowth this week. Um, it's kind of bulky, kind of offensive. Uh, it's got an Assault Vest, so it has a little more survivability, but it's going to design to t uh, just be a tank this week because that is what I needed to do. And uh, pairing along with uh, Yogurt, we have the Schwartz. So Sylveon is being brought this week. Sylveon has Wish Protect. That's supposed to be Heal Bell. Let's fix it. That's Heal Bell. Wish Protect, Heal Bell, and Hyper Voice. So um, as physically defensive as possible, this is to uh, help take on Garchomp a little bit better. Uh, also to uh, take on, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, um, come on, Toxicroak, to possibly live a hit from Toxicroak, but mainly because Sylveon can tank on Garchomp and uh, Hitmonlee, Hitmonlee a little better uh, in this form, and then just Wish Protect Stall, Hyper Voice to deal damage, Heal Bell to heal my team in case we go into Stallfest, uh, especially if... Uh, some of my physical attackers get burned um, through Rotom Wash, and also so that Sylveon doesn't lose to Toxic Stallers one-on-one. -on -one. So that's the Schwartz this week. Kind of useful, very team support oriented this week. Um, definitely an important part of my defensive core. And speaking of defense, we are bringing the Shuckle this week. So Buckle This is finally getting its chance to shine. Um, that is not the last move. We decided this week that um, Shuckle is not going to rest. It is going to, in fact, be my Stealth Rocker. Sticky Web, Toxic Protect, Stealth Rock with the leftovers. Wish support from the Schwartz is incredibly important um, because 197 HP 
wishes is almost gonna heal Shuckle to full health. Uh, so Shuckle is just gonna uh, come in and has positive matchups versus stuff like Garchomp, um, Garchomp, Swampert, um, Rotom Wash, Lola Nine Tails, um, Lola Marowak, Hitmonlee, Shiftry. Basically anything that Shuckle can toxic, it has a positive matchup against. Because pretty much those that can't be toxic are gonna be hitting uh, Shuckle with Steel type moves. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, Sticky Web is uh, kind of important. Not the most important thing. It's mostly gonna be used in this match to bait out Rotom Wash, uh, so I can toxic it. Because as I noted in the team, um, in the uh, Sunrakasha team preview. The only way that they can heal status is either self-heal with berries or Jirachi Healing Wish. So if I can get Shuckle to Toxic Rotom Wash, um, that's going to be really important in this match. Originally I was uh, Spadef um, for that Rotom Wash, but then I learned that um, Shuckle just tanks a hit naturally anyway, um, and I decided to be Fizdef in favor of defeating uh, a Swords Dance type Garchomp. It can tank a plus two devastating Drake and then fire a Toxic off. Uh, if not, just protect on um, on that devastating Drake. So it's just Chuckles got options. Protect to stall and gain leftovers recovery. Toxic to Toxic. Stick you up to lower speed of opponents and Stealth Rocks, of course, uh, useful for stuff like Beedrill and the Ninetales. Rounding out my more defensive mons, I'm bringing Incineroar. So I know I have Toxic on Shuckle. Uh, to deal with uh, some of the other mons, but as an alternative, I can burn them as well. So Fire Punch, Protect, Darkest Lariat, and Will-O-Wisp. Uh, Protect is going to be there uh, to help against Hitmonlee. So uh, Incineroar can uh, be a check to Hitmonlee, and it's actually a check to Scarf Garchomp, surprisingly. Uh, with the Intimidate ability, uh, Lone Star is just incredibly bulky, even against uh, as devastating a Pokemon as uh, Garchomp is. Uh, just uh, the sheer bulk. If you see, I'm not even fully invested in yet. 300 defense and almost, excuse me, almost 400 HP. Combine that with a Will-O-Wisp and you have a neutered Garchomp. And of course, Protect to uh, help scout out stuff like High Jump Kick from Hitmonlee. Also, to uh, whack, lack, wow. Poof. Rack up Will-O-Wisp chip damage. A fire Punch is there mainly for the Alolan Ninetales. Darkest Lariat because it hits uh, almost the entire team for neutral damage. The only one that it doesn't is uh, Alolan Ninetales, the um, Shift Tree, and the Toxic Croak, which Fire Punch hits super effectively. So Fire Dark is really good coverage this week on the offensive side. All right, so um, it's time to unleash the Zygarde. So we are bringing soon this week, uh, Sub Protect Coil, 1,000 arrows. Uh, this is another reason why Lone Star having Will-O-Wisp is so useful because um, Incineroar checks stuff like Mega Beedrill, Scarf Guard Chomp, uh, it can check Toxic Croak and burn it, um, can burn Swampert, can burn uh, Hitmonlee. Uh, this gives me plenty of opportunities to set up with Zygarde, especially with Coil. I can just tank hits and keep racking up uh, chip damage on uh, the Earthquake Fish's team, and then uh, sweep with Thousand Arrows. Um, also, if Sticky Webs are up, this set outspeeds any non-Choice Scarf user on Sinrakish's team, so I am speed crept to outspeed um, Max Speed Rotom Wash. So, I think that's what it was. Yes, Max Speed Rotom Wash. And then I also outspeed, again, every non-Choice Scarf Pokemon that switches in. So there's that. Coil is definitely going to help against 
uh, allows me to set up uh, on Pokemon like Mega Beedrill, like Shift Tree, like Hitmonlee if it's kind of neutered, uh, Swampert unless it's carrying ice coverage. So just lots of good opportunities with Zygarde this week, um, and I expect it to uh, at least be a deterrent, if not the absolute sweeper this week. But at the end of the day, I want it to just... I wanted to have a little bit of fun, and Shockle really ties this team together, especially because last Mon Gallade. Um, th this is not a moveset that you would expect to see on Mega Gallade, and I was bouncing around so much with what to do for last move. I ended up coming up with Shadow Sneak, um, although I could potentially switch it to Ice Punch. But Leaf Blade absolutely obliterates Rotom Wash, and there is no Swampert alive that is beating this Gallade 101 because of that Leaf Blade. Earthquake deals really well with Magnezone, Jirachi, um, Marowak, Hitmonlee, just a solid damage across the board. The only Pokemon that resists all three of these attacking options uh, is the Shiftry, which, uh, again, I'm not entirely sure would be coming this week. But after Stealth Rocks, uh, if I'm at... Hold on, I gotta double check. After Stealth Rocks... At plus two. What? Plus two plus Stealth Rocks, Beedrill falls over to Shadow Sneak. So this is just in case I don't get Sticky Webs up. But um, And I do have like f three incredibly good options to deal with Garchomp. So, uh, Mega Gallade is not designed to take on Garchomp. Mega Gallade is designed to come in, get up a Swords Dance, and then break stuff down. So I'm really playing the long game this week. But hopefully it'll all work out. So yeah, that's going to be my team for this week. Uh, match will be up um, either sometime today, if not, um, if not today, then tomorrow. And I will see y'all there. Roush is out. Peace, guys.